Hello and welcome to Flutter web app development course. In this course you will learn and build WhatsApp web app clone using Firebase Firestore as backend using the Firebase cloud messaging for web. That is we will also implement real time push notification system for the web using Flutter. So you will learn all these things in this course. So let me show you guys the web app overview so first of all here you see the online user profile picture and the online user profile name so peter parker is an online user now so here inside the chats tab you see all the recent chats which peter parker communicate with their friends so from the recent chats let's say if peter parker wants to communicate now with angela so peter parker will click on angela mike and it will load all the previous chats with angela mike as you can see the last message which angela sent me is this image so that's why in the recent chats you see that it says angela mike sent you an image because this was the last message communicated with angela so let me open up another browser and in the another browser I am logged in as Angela Mike. So now let's say Angela wants to send a message to Peter. As you can see it load up the previous messages with Peter in the Angela browser as well. So let's say now Angela say hey how are you? So now when Angela send the message then it will also send the push notifications. As you can see that Peter Parker receive a push notification on his browser that is Angela Mike hey how are you with a close button so now you can see that the last message or you can say the recent message which Angela sent is hey how are you and that is this message you can see that similarly now when Peter Parker respond like I am fine thanks then Angela will receive a push notification as you can see I am fine thanks from Peter Parker so also when the and you can see that the recent message from Peter Parker is I am fine thanks and as I told you you can also send any uh, file for example it can be a PDF file dot mp4 video file dot mp3 music file dot docs which is MS Word document file PowerPoint file or Excel file so let's say if I want to send a mp3 file so I will choose mp3 from the pop-up and then I will say select file so let's say choose any mp3 file so I have this mp3 file I will simply click open and it is going to upload and send the mp3 file to Peter Parker as you can see it is uploading so you have to wait for it so it is sent sent successfully as you can see so to Peter Parker Peter Parker receive a push notification at real time to Peter Parker it is saying that Angela Mike sent you a file and you can see that so now for example if you want to uh, open up this file then you have to click on it when you click on it it will download that file you can see dot mp3 file and it is now downloading and then of course you can open it up from your download folder to which it is uploaded so also you can send any other file for example let's say as a response if Peter Parker wants to send another file let's say dot docs select file and I will choose from my desktop any dot docs file let's say this one so it is uploading and sending so it is sent suc successfully as you can see Peter Parker Angela Mike receive a push notification that you receive a file from Peter Parker as you can see to Angela Mike it is showing that so now if Angela Mike wants to download or open it up then Angela Mike will click on that and it will simply download that as you can see it is downloaded so if you go to the downloads here you can see that file is downloaded successfully one more thing is you can also send images so let's say if Peter Parker wants to send an image then Peter Parker can click on that and Peter Parker can choose any image which Peter Parker wants to send so let's send this one so as you can see it is sending now and send so now if you come here so on the Angela mic the notification is received on the browser and it is showing Peter Parker sent you an image 
and as I told you even if the browser is in the background or even if the browser is not open the user browser and the person for example Peter Parker send a message like how are you hey again so when Peter Parker send the message then the notification will be received in the background as you can see this pop-up push notification appear at real time and as you know that the user whose name is Angela she is logged in on the Bing or you can say Microsoft Edge web browser okay so on the Microsoft Edge web browser Peter Parker uh, notification from Peter Parker received for Angela Mike that is how are you hey again so for example now now let's say if the user Angela Mike wants to delete any message then she can delete similarly Peter Parker can delete any message Peter Parker wants you can only delete your sent messages which you sent not the messages which you receive if you click on that you will not see the pop-up however if you click on your own sent files then you will see this pop-up so for example the this file which I sent to Peter Parker let me show it to you okay which is this one okay so la let's say if I want to delete this delete for everyone the moment when I click on delete for everyone it will be deleted for me and similarly it will be deleted for the Peter Parker as well you can see that okay deleted you deleted this message you deleted that message as you know that this site messages here when Peter Parker is online this site messages is this user so which is Angela Mike so Angela Mike delete this message which she sent for example now let me show you also that is and if Peter Parker wants to send his messages let's say this one how are you hey again so Peter Parker will tap on it and delete for everyone so to Peter Parker it is showing you deleted this messages similarly here to Angela to Angela it is showing that Peter Parker the message from Peter Parker side is deleted by him okay so Peter Parker deleted that message Similarly, you can delete message for your own self. For example, if I click delete for me, then it will be deleted only for me. That is as Peter Parker. Okay, it is only deleted for Peter Parker. However, for the Angela Mike, it is still available. Okay, so yeah, this is all the feature. For example, if you delete for everyone, only then it will be deleted here as well as it will be deleted here on the sender side as well as on the receiver side. However, if you only delete for me, then that will be only deleted for you, but not on the receiver side. Just like you guys see in real WhatsApp web app, where you can delete messages for yourself or delete messages for everyone. So yeah, you will learn all these features in this course. I hope you will love this course as you will learn many amazing features like the Flutter full stack web app development with Firebase cloud messaging that is the real time push notification system for the web specifically and you will learn completely how to make a web application using Flutter from A to Z that is from beginner to advanced level you will learn the complete web app application development or you can say website development using flutter with firebase firestore as backend